Hi, good morning, and I'm lucky enough to have a few days off this week. Uh, so I've got a bit of time to myself, and uh, there's no better place to spend it than in the cabin. Uh, the Landschnecht uh, project is coming on nicely. I've now finished the two pipe blocks and a unit of hand gunners. Uh, the, uh, the rule set, which I mentioned before, I'm prime, it's the idea is to use Pike and Shot by Warlord Games purely because we've used uh, black powder, so the, the mechanics are virtually the same. I think I might have mentioned that before. And so what I'm doing here is the idea in collecting the Italian Wars project is that I'm going to build up a division at a time, which normally um, I run as four, four units of infantry or cavalry, or cavalry, sorry, um, but primarily four infantry units, um, a gun, and a command stand, and some skirmishes. So, three units down now, and um, enthusiasm remains high. Uh, I've started gluing together the third pike, pike unit. I've just painted up all the base coats on a gun crew, and I went for um, I went to Lancashire Games, who are running a, a sale at the moment, so check the date of this video, and I picked up a uh, Hinchcliffe uh, gun crew. They're, at, they're very, um, very 25mm. Uh, you can't see that, I'll show you in a moment. Um, showing their age, obviously, but full of character. I'm glad I got them. Um, I think with the gun and the fire crew it came to less than a tenner at the moment of the sale. So um, yes, they're over time, but um, easy to pay, and that's what you want. I think that's all said and done. Um, the the gaming has been pretty quiet recently. Uh, a lot of my friends are very busy uh, this time of year, understandably. Um, so I'm. Um, I'm in the Italian wars for the long, long haul at the moment and um, thoroughly enjoying it. So we'll pop down to the bench and have a look at what I've done. Okay, so here we are. So the pipe blocks are uh, 32 pike and attached two stands of handgunners, Archibus. And um, we'll have a quick look. All Warlord Games figures, all plastic. And um, I've enjoyed painting these up. Once you get the into the swing of it, you can pretty well motor on. I've given the commander in the blocks a Zweihander, is it? The guy with the double-handed sword. And he's protecting the standard the flags come from the world games box and i purchased some of the rather lovely flags and flags of war my mate ian and i think i'm going to try and get each stand to have a flag uh, because they do look rather colorful I try to get the majority of the guys wearing the breastplate in the front ranks, um, but just for variation, I've added a few that haven't got the armour. So that's those. And that's the front door. So, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll get back to you. Right, that was the postman at the front door and uh, dropped off a parcel for the wife, Jo, and I just had to look down to see who it's from. It's from Goblin Gaming, so obviously that's a present for me for Christmas, so goodness knows what she's bought me, but fingers crossed it's uh, something pretty decent. Right, so I'm going to finish off with these um, hand gunners. They have the, the option in the box sets to 
use crossbows, which I may do a, um, a unit at some point. Maybe the skirmishes, possibly. But uh, so that's that. Let's move those around there. I do like these. I can see myself immersing myself deeper and deeper into the pro into the period. Um, I need to finish off the division I mentioned I mentioned earlier of four units. So it just gives me one more unit of uh, infantry, and then I'll do a cavalry brigade or division, whatever you call it, in this period. Okay, um, thanks for watching.